Okay, so let's have another example here. Hair flips. <laughs> Bakit nga ba hair flips yung title nito? Uh, medyo hidden na uh, reference yun, by the way. Um, one end of a two kilogram rope is tied to a support at the top of a mine shaft, 80 meters deep. The rope is stretched out by a 20 kilogram box of rocks attached at the bottom. The geologist at the bottom of the shaft signals to a colleague that at the top by jerking the, slope, the rope sideways. Letter A, what is the speed of a transverse wave of the rope? And letter B, if a point on the rope is in transverse simple harmonic motion with frequency F is 2 hertz, how many cycles are in the rope's length? So I'll be giving you maybe a minute to think on how to solve this problem using our expression for the velocity in terms of the tension or the force exerted on a string or on a rope divided by the mass per, um, per unit length of that rope. Yun yung gagamitin yung equation para mahanap nyo yung um, speed ng transverse wave dyan. Tapos pwede nyo gamitin yung nakuha yung speed na yun para hanapin yung number ng cycles or number ng wavelengths, therefore, ng, um, ng waves na makikita nyo dun sa rope. Okay? Sige. Okay, so again, um, let's draw the situation. You have a rope that is tied. Um, so you have a 80-meter cliff. So ito yung, ganito na lang gawin natin. You have an 80-meter cliff, tapos ito yung, ano, ganito siya. So this is 80 meters. Tapos may rope dyan. You have a rope here with some mass. So again, in these problems, you are now assuming that the, that the rope or string is massive, not massless. So may mass na siya. So this rope here is also, um, uh, there's a bunch of rocks that are, um, that are hanged on that rope. And these boxes are, or these rocks have some mass. M is 20.0 kilograms. Medyo mabigat siya. And this rope here, the rope has some mass also. You have some mass, a small m, given by, I think, 2.0 kilograms over this 80-meter stretcher. So, mabigat siya pag pinagsama-sama mo. The question is, letter A, what is the speed of this, of the transverse wave? Actually, kaya ganito kahaba yun. It's because um, you have two lectures in one. This is basically the second lecture. So, um, recall that the velocity is just equal to square root of f over mu, where f there is the force that is exerted on the string or on the rope. The question is, what is the force exerted on the rope? Ano lang yung forces na, force na nag-exert dun sa rope? Again, dun sa rope, ha? Hindi yung, self, hindi yung self force niya in a way. Ano yung force na nag-exert dun sa rope? Ano lang? Anyone? Siya yung... Yes, it's, uh, well, it's actually the tension. Pero in particular, that tension here is exerted by what? Ano yung nag-exert ng force na yun? What is the force that exerts that tension? Ano lang yun? Remember, as the rocks are hanged on the string or on the rope. Therefore, that the, the set of rocks which have some weight, exactly, may weight yan na mag -e exert dun sa rope. Therefore, the force there is actually the weight of the rock. So, I'll just say that it's capital M. So this is just square root of the mass of the rocks multiplied by acceleration due to gravity G divided by the mass of the stream, let's say small m, divided by the total length of the rope, capital L. So in this case, hence, the velocity of a, of a wave that will travel on that rope is equal to um, the mass, which is um, 20 kilograms, multiplied by 9.81 meters per second squared, divided by the total mass of the rope, which is 2.0 kilograms, divided by the length, which is on 80.0 meters. So the raise to one half. And from there, one can show that the total, um, the total speed of the rock, uh, of the speed of the rock, speed of the rope, or the speed of the wave that is traversing that rope is 88.6 meters per second. Medyo mabilis siya. Okay? So, ganun lang. You just application lang ng square root of f over mu. That's letter A. Okay. For letter B, um, remember, you have, so, syempre, nag, nag, ano ka, nag-disturb ka, so may yung travel na wave dyan. Ang tanong ngayon, gaano karaming cycles yung, yung mag-traverse dyan sa, um, sa rope na yan? Gaano karaming cycles? So, how many cycles? If the frequency 
is f equals 2.00 hertz. So, question mark yan. <laughs> okay, so, gano'ng karaming um, cycles? Remember, you have the velocity, b, and you have the frequency, f. Ano yung, ano yung kailangan natin hanapin? Kung gusto natin bilangin yung number of cycles, kailangan alam natin gaano kalaki or gaano kahaba yung isang cycle. Diba? Therefore, we first need to obtain the wavelength of the wave. So in that case, the wavelength, therefore, is just equal to what? So ano lang yan? Yes, the wavelength is can be obtained from the wave speed or wave velocity and the frequency. So lambda is V over F, which is, again, 88.6 meters per second divided by 2.00 hertz. This is also per second. Therefore, the units of wavelength is in meters. And from there, one can show that this is actually 44.3 meters. So ito yung ganito kalaki yung isang wavelength. Ngayon, therefore, ilang waves dun sa buong stretch? So how many waves then? Or how many cycles then? Gano'ng karaming cycles? If one wavelength is 44.3 meters, then the total number of cycles, so the number of cycles, is just the total length of the, of the rope, which is capital L, divided by the total number of wavelengths, lambda. So hinati mo ngayon yung lahat, yung buong stretch ng rope into different cycles. And from there, this is just equal to 80.0 meters divided by 44.3 meters. And the answer is, I believe, 1.80, 1 um, 1.81 cycles. Tana. It's 1.81 cycles. So, hindi pa abot ng dalawang cycles yung wave mo. Isang cycle lang siya all. Well, one and a half cycles, actually. Mga ganon. Medyo weird kasing weird number na 1.81. But it's actually 1.81 cycles. Okay? Nagets nyo ba kung paano gamitin yung velocity of a string on a um, given the tension on a string? Uh, cool. Are you for... Gets? Nakuha? May mga questions ba, guys? Are there any questions? Are there any questions, guys? Wala? Okay, wala. Sige. None. Okay. 